Good morning and welcome to this, our Anzac Day service from St Paul's Cathedral, Dunedin. This is not our usual way of commemorating those who have fallen in conflict and those who have given their lives for the defence of New Zealand and Australia and peace throughout the world. However, I hope that as you join us this morning, you will still feel that we are able to come together to pay tribute to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice and also to those who still need our help today. And at the end of this service and on our service booklet on our website, there are details of how you can donate to the RSA so that money can go to help those who still need it now. We are gathered here today, as are others throughout Australia and New Zealand and beyond, to offer to God our worship and praise, to remember before God the courage and devotion of our people through days of stress and danger, to pay tribute to those who laid down their lives in war that we and our families might live in peace to commend to God's care those who today mourn the passing of a loved one through war, and finally to promise so far as in us lies that the evil of war shall be no more.
Let us pray. Glory to you, God of the universe, for sending Jesus Christ, who teaches us to live peacefully and to walk justly. In him, we know the ultimate victory of justice over injustice and peace over war. Eternal God, on this Anzac Day, we have many things on our mind. We think of all those who, in two world wars and since, have given their lives in the defence of their homeland, and of all who, to this day, mourn their passing. Those who died in Turkey and France, in Belgium, in Germany and North Africa, in Palestine and Malaya, in Italy and Greece, in Korea and Vietnam, those who lie dead in many lands so that we may live here in peace. We think also of our dead whose sea grave is one of the oceans of the world. Nor can we forget, too, the tragedy of the Middle East, of East Timor, of Indonesia, of Kosovo and Bosnia, of Afghanistan, of Iraq, and of men and women who have been in service there and in other places. As we remember with pride their sacrifice, so too do we remember their nearest and dearest, whose hearts today are heavy at their passing. This we ask for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. We confess that we have fallen short of the example shown by those whom we honour today. For the hatred which divides nation from nation, race from race, class from class. Father, forgive us. For the covetous desires of nations and peoples to possess what is not their own. Father, forgive us. For the greed which exploits human labour and lays waste the earth. Father, forgive us. For our envy of the welfare and happiness of others. Father, forgive us. For our indifference to the plight of the homeless and the refugee. Father, forgive us. For the lust which uses for ignoble ends the bodies of men and women and children. Father, forgive us. For the pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Father, forgive us. Forgive us, we beseech you, and set us free to serve you with willing mind and undivided heart. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May we come, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to make our lives a sign of peace for the whole world. Be our strength in weakness, our light in darkness, our wisdom in uncertainties, and grant us full assurance that neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, shall be able to separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All praise and honour be yours through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit for ever and ever. Amen.
Almighty God, we give thanks for the regiments of Otago and Southland remembered in this window to honour all who served and all who fell. We rejoice also at the faithful love of those benefactors throughout our region who erected this memorial that the spirit of sacrifice may not be forgotten. So, by your grace, we commit ourselves anew to follow the one who sacrificed himself for all the world and who rules from the cross, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. E kore rātou e kaumātua tia, pēnei i a tātou kua mahu e nei, e kore hoki rātou e ngoi kore, ahakoa pēhe i ngā āhuatanga o te wā, i te hekenga atu o te rā, tainoa ki te aranga mai i te ata, kā mau mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou, kā mau mahara tonu tātou ki a rātou. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Let us pray. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to St John Chapter 11, beginning at the 17th verse. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Thanks be to God.
Let us bring to God our prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Let us pray. Eternal God, before whose face the generations rise and pass away, we remember this day those who helped sustain our nation and the Commonwealth through difficult days. As we honour them by the laying of wreaths, so do we give you thanks for the gifts given to them, for their strength of character, their capacity for sacrifice, their courage, their forgetfulness of self, their loyalty even unto death. We praise you for the blessings of liberty and democracy that we enjoy today and made sacred by their sacrifice. We give you thanks for all these and other benefits which have made secure our lives and the lives of others. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we celebrate the witness of those whose lives have burned for justice and peace, so do we offer our needs to God. Eternal God, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that it may truly be an instrument of your peace and justice, that it may continually increase in godliness and be plenteously enriched with spiritual benefits. Grant that it may teach and encourage the union of hearts of all people everywhere in the desire for peace and the love of concord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who exercise authority in faith or in government, for your servant Elizabeth our Queen, her Governor-General in this land, her judges and members of Parliament, and all those who are called into public life, that in all things your Spirit may rule and direct their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that our nation may be strengthened in the love of righteousness, enriched with liberty and order, and preserved in unity and peace, that we may all become people for God and people for each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those living with sickness, hatred and oppression, and those who are victims of war, that the passion of Christ may strengthen them and move us to their service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those of the New Zealand forces in the Peace Corps and for all who fight for peace. Comfort them and those who love them. Grant that their actions may bring to reality the ultimate hope that justice will conquer injustice and that peace will vanquish war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for ourselves. Let us never fail to recognise the futility and waste of war and of glory gone. Grant that we may dedicate ourselves to nourishing new life born among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For as much as Christ himself and the modern martyrs teach us to be people of peace and bringers of justice, may we come through the power of the Holy Spirit to make our lives a sign of your peace for all the world. 
All this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, singing.
God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us and to all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.